Huawei Honor's Emotion UI or MUI comes with a truckload of features. Few of them aren't aware of most of the features or at least some of the features Emotion UI has to offer. After getting Oreo update, the phone has been added with further more features and everyone should know that to make their lives easier. Welcome to Decoros TV and let's get started. Let's go one by one. So first of all, I wanted to show you this feature called ride mode. This feature is especially useful when you are riding a bike and the phone is in your pocket. You can simply switch this ride mode on and as soon as you do this, the calls will be automatically answered back saying that you are busy or whatever you have mentioned it to give the message back. So this is very useful feature when you enable it during your bike ride. The second feature I'm going to speak is about the simple mode. Once you enable this, the UI becomes very, very simple. As you can see, I have enabled it here and very useful for someone who gets confused with the Emotion UI's own launcher. So going here, the system apps will be in other tabs while the downloaded apps will be in a section called downloads this is about the simple mode and going further we have something called wi-fi bridging feature so you can go to settings search for it wi-fi bridge as you can see i have found it here the wi-fi bridge so what it basically does it, once you connect your Wi-Fi to your router, you can switch it on and set your own password so that when you share your Wi-Fi with others, you can use this either as a Wi-Fi extender or use this to hide your original password and set your own password, which will be temporary. So this is very useful feature, I feel. So going next, if you swipe down and press this three dot, you can see there is something called navigation dock you can enable this so let me open some app say i'm going to open google play games and now you can see if i press this navigation dock it's movable on the screen and if you press this once it will take you to home screen and if you press it and drag it it will switch you to the recent tasks you can see i'll just yeah you can see it will switch it to the recent tasks and i find this to be quite useful but i don't use it a lot so let's go ahead and disable that feature this will be very useful for someone who don't want to use their navigation bar or extend it so going to the navigation bar now in Android Oreo, you can hide it. If you observe my notification bar with the back key, recent key and home key, you can find a downwards arrow, which can be pressed to hide the navigation dock. So you can swipe again up to find it. So in Android Oreo, now you can disable the navigation bar or just hide it for some time. Going ahead, there is something called one-handed UI. If you swipe from right to left in your navigation dock, as you can see, my screen has screen size has been reduced so that it is very useful for one-handed usage. This can be uh, quit by just pressing somewhere outside the screen or you can swipe again in the opposite direction in your navigation bar. And this is about one-handed UI. Going ahead, you can find this feature called motion motion ui which is especially it is in the motion control and if you enable flip to mute you can just as you can see the animation you can just flip your phone to silent the call or alarms and there are few other uh, features in motion control that something like double touch which we find in most of the phones so going next there is face id built in in android oreo you need not wait for any update the oreo rom itself comes with the face id feature and here 
you can you have few settings to play with once you enable this smart lock screen notification if you lock your screen and if you receive some personal messages or whatsapp messages it will hide the content and it will only show the content in the lock screen when it recognizes your face this is pretty dope so you can also switch between how you can unlock your screen either by sliding to unlock or direct unlock if you keep a direct unlock it will unlock directly and move to your home screen so that is about face id and few of you had asked for file safe or privacy space or whatever the huawei has named it so huawei has gone with file safe and you can use this once you enable this it will ask for some password so if you have already set the password it will directly take you to uh, some menu say i have will be setting here one two three four it's saying at least three characters five six five six and it needs a letter a a and done so it's asking some security questions once you set these questions and answer these questions you can hide the photos or videos from your internal storage so that no one has access to those photos or videos until and unless they enter your password so there is no need of external apps like app lock or something like that to hide your photos or files so going next if you go to sound tab you can find something called huawei histon sound effects so one of the most useful thing here is you can enable 3d audio and you will see magic for yourself so just enable the 3d audio and keep it keep the tab to the front mode and see the improve in the audio quality the audio quality will be drastically improved and you will be loving the songs you are going to hear through your headphones that is about huawei histon and then there is something called launch which is found in battery section as you can see now you you can adjust manually how a app will be switched on so suppose uh, say whatsapp so if i switch it on the whatsapp won't be hibernated and it will be managed automatically as how phone decides but if you switch it off you can see you will be getting three menus those are auto launch secondary launch and run in background so auto launch is nothing but launching the app in the background as soon as you reboot your phone or switch on your phone secondary launch are the ones those are opened by the third party apps and running in background as you know it decides to uh, decides if you want to keep your app open in background or not this is also a very useful feature and uh, i have switched everything off and as you can see there is an app called ultra surf i will switch it off and now the app won't switch it on automatically it won't run on the background and hence more battery will be saved and there are few other features as well something called uh, huawei share as you can see in the second uh, column there is something called huawei share and once you enable this you can uh, share the data or uh, photos videos etc with the nearby on our phone without using share it or files go by google so that is one more useful feature as well and uh, if you go to camera section you can find some different new settings as well like gesture to take photos etc those features are included in few other phones as well and those are not any signature features but whatever features i have told till now is emotion ui specific feature and i hope everyone of you will make use of it thanks for watching this video please subscribe my channel like the video if you found the content useful until next time have a great day goodbye